shake hands when the bell rings come out boxing and may the best man win brief instructions from Tommy Little the ref. so here we go the Second fight of the year Clay from the right hand corner against Cooper of Britain and Clay has said I'll beat him in five we'll see a lot of people think that Cooper's big chance is to go in early with his left hook and try and nail Clay Clay six foot two and a half Cooper six one and a half Clay really is a fine figure of the game and he's going in and he's hurt Clay Clay's hanging on and he's blinking and frowning in the first 30 seconds the left hook of Cooper scores quickly and Clay's nose is bleeding in the first minute from the left hook of Cooper First blood to Cooper. And Cooper has certainly not come out apprehensively tonight. The man who started so many fights too quietly, Cooper has come out full of fight. And now Clay is arguing to the referee that Cooper's trying to hold him and he's getting angry. And at one stage there, I thought he even poked his arm out at so Mr. Tommy Little, the referee. Well, this is a sensational start to this fight. Clay has gone fighting mad. Clay Sean is not holding inside. There's blood on Cooper's left shoulder and that comes from Clay's nose. is right into Clay's face and he's scoring heavily with it and he's hurting the American a sensational start to this fight and Cooper right on top with half a minute to go in the first for British professional boxing. People are on their feet at the ringside now, cheering Cooper. A fantastic start by the British champion. Completely overthrown all his old nervousness at the start and come out there, a fighting man, Cooper. Hurt Clay in the first minute with a left hook and has done well since. Left hooks and jabs, he's drawn blood from Clay's nose. He's hurt Clay and Clay has been forced to complain because he was very troubled indeed. This is quite the most extraordinary fight night I've ever experienced in Britain. The first three minutes have been extraordinary. Second round. round two. There's Cooper. Can he beat Clay and put British professional boxing right on top of the heavyweight world? Slightly disturbing fold after that first round. Cooper hit him hard with the left hook several times, but he didn't go down or even show a sign of going down. Okay? He can take a punch. So he's trying to open up his own left jab and hook. Not much right hand punching so far. Clay now working on Cooper's face. This is Cooper's left hook against the left jab of Clay, and there's no telling it. 
this stage which punch is going to come out on top shown it half a minute to go in the second and now Cooper seems to be cut slightly underneath the left eye it's nothing serious that left jab of Clay is beginning to get very accurate and steady into Cooper's face and Cooper is cut or rather grazed underneath his left eye it's a battle of left hands between these two. And as the bell ends the second, so Cooper's cut underneath his left eye has worsened slightly after a couple of left jabs on it from Clay. So Cooper, after six minutes boxing, is cut underneath the left eye. One of the things that uh, was feared, he always cuts easily, Cooper, but it's underneath the eye and not over, which means that it's not nearly as serious as it might be. The 1960 Olympic light heavyweight champion, the man who's been promised to fight with the winner of Liston and Patterson if he comes through this tonight. The handsome Cassius Clay coming out for round three after the shock of his life in the first round. The rain has stopped. The excitement has really started among the crowd here who've seen Cooper take the fight to Clay and these 40 or 50,000 people in Wembley are all on Henry Cooper's side Cooper's left eye patched up now and still he hooks with that left hand and now he's cut over the left eye Henry Cooper is cut over the left eye and it looks to me like a very bad cut indeed this is tragedy for Cooper in the third round with only 40 seconds gone, and Cooper is very badly cut over the left eye. This is what we always feared about Cooper, round three. He's going to have a job to get through with that eye. Tommy Little's having a look at it. fighting desperately because he knows that his time may be short there you can see apprehensively feeling for it with the left hand Cooper trying to nail him in the third if he can there's no telling now how long he's got to go Cooper with that eye a minute left in the third Play now, look at him, he's got his arms down, he's contemptuously treating Cooper, his arms are down by his hips. Just using his feet to keep away from Cooper. This is complete cheek on the part of Clay, who feels that he's got it in the bag because of that eye. Half a minute to go in the third. Clay has taken all of Cooper's punches and stood up to them. Clay hardly bothering to punch in this round now. He's just threatening and he's teasing Cooper. He's trying to make Cooper look small in the third round. And Cooper's left eye is a very sorry sight indeed. It really is. It's cut above and below. Danny Holland with the swap sticks in his mouth there is going to have to work really hard to try and staunch the flow of blood from that eye. It really is a bad one. Henry Cooper under severe handicap now as he comes out for round four against Cassius Clay. And looking set for victory because of this handicapped left eye. Well, they've worked on it. Tommy Little chasing Cooper's seconds out. Round four. Sitting 
down at the ringside is one of Clay's 11 managers, Bill Faversham, and he called out to Clay in the interval, cut out the funny business and get down to work. So the Clay people are not too happy with their man. He was certainly teasing Cooper in the third. This is not the way to go about things when you're a world heavyweight contender. And Cooper's eye already bleeding again in the fourth round. Above and below, two streams of blood. And poor Cooper keeps putting his left glove up there to that eye as though he can hardly believe his bad luck. The fourth round, and one looks for a sign that a left hook from Cooper can really hurt this man, but apart from the opening minute, he hasn't seemed to hurt Clay very much with his punches. He's put as many left hooks in as he can get, and Clay has taken them all somewhat contemptuously. And now Clay is just jabbing casually with his left hand. Anything might happen. before the end of the round with the left hook Clay took one chance too many and he still doesn't know where he is he's still half out Clay they're working furiously on him in the corner Angelo Dundee is trainer he really is giving him a talking to Cooper's left hook finally scores and Clay was done two seconds from the end of the fourth round and got up just after the bell and he doesn't know where he is looking at his corner and something extraordinary has happened because referee Tommy Little has gone over to the timekeeper to ask something. Tommy Little has gone to Clay's corner now to talk to them. And I think Clay has got a torn glove. Oh no, it seems to be all right. And out we come for round five. And now round five is the round in which Clay said he would beat Cooper, but now this crowd at Wembley are beginning to bay for a Cooper win. Clay on the floor at the end of the fourth, and now fighting to preserve his professional right here against Henry Cooper. Oh, and now Cooper's left eye is really in a shocking state. It really is now. Clay's left, Cooper's left eye is pouring blood. Gum shoots flying out. Henry is dripping blood. And I think Tommy Little will have to stop this because Cooper's eye is really in an absolutely appalling state. It is the worst cuffed eye I've seen for a very, very long time indeed. I do not see how he can let this go much further. Cooper's corner and Tommy Little's looking at it and he's had to stop the fight. There was no alternative. He had to stop the fight, Tommy Little. It's all over in round five and Clay is getting bombarded with programs from angry ringsiders. The man who was put down at the end of the fourth round and Cooper, he's beaten on a cut eye, is far from disgrace. 